Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG. And uh, I know this is not terribly exciting at this point, uh, but this is all I've got for today is a bundle of uh, Ventures in the Forgotten Realms, which I'm having a lot of fun with this set on Arena. And uh, just happen to have this laying around, but I haven't had any time to get to it. So life for me is very busy and there's no signs of it slowing down anytime soon. So I just get to get into these when I eventually get a chance, which it does take quite some time. So <clears throat> had this since release, uh, which has now been, what, well over a month. But I do want to check it out. So I always check out the interior art of the fat type bundles. Uh, very cool. Um, as you've seen before, I'm a big a uh, fan of the Dungeons and Dragons set, but I'm not a fan of these fake little boxes. I mean, it's definitely a great spot to store your dice and not much else. So, criticism goes unheard. We got a big set of the uh, dungeon cards, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I find that when I play, I end up going through. Uh, the Lost Mine, more often than not. Scrying and making a treasure token is pretty handy. All right. Nice box, as usual. Oh, yeah. Cool art with Xanathar on it there. Like it. Let's get into some packs here. Let's see how we do. Okay. Got an orange spin down. Oh, very cool. Loving these. These are... Uh, Pretty, always been these been solid the last few sets here this one's from uh, modern horizons Two. there we go the little half box <laughs> guess it's a good way to store your deck and what you can do on your turn and how to cast spells and how to play and some lands we got a foil treasure chest that's excellent so the rest of this will just be lands right Treasure chest and then some foil basic lands with uh, some pretty cool um, dungeon crawling text there, uh, which is something that I actually also do is I'm a, I'm a dungeon master, so you get plenty of good tips from this for narration. Fun times. All right, uh, open up some packs and at the end I will scan them up and see if I made any money, which... Um, I think there's just a few bombs in this set <clears throat> and the chances of making the money back is low-ish we're gonna try aberrant mind sorcerer hama pashar ruin seeker trickster salomon and instrument of the bards legendary artifact i don't think that's gonna be a big one it's probably all about the mythics at this point Uh, yeah, this set did not have a uh, big land cycle, um, so probably not as exciting as some sets. Keen-Eyed Sentry, Monk of the Open Hand, Loathsome Troll, Imrith Desert Doom. There we go, there's a Mythic. Um, so when I've played against this one, you just kind of have to wait for him to get tapped out before you can do anything against him. So he's, he's a tough one. <clears throat> Skeleton token, I'm going to need that. So I do play Skeleton Squarming. One of my favorite cards from this set. Hopefully I'll get one. Rust Monster, Choose Your Weapon, Power Word Kill, and Eye of Vecna. Good old Vecna. He doesn't show up too often playing, I think, nowadays. A foil plummet. It's hard to assemble the Vecna combo. Secret door. Windfall. Celestial unicorn. So, hey, we got two in a row. We got the uh, showcase style. I love it. I absolutely love this. Honestly, I wish they were on different creatures that I actually use. Um, I think only Delina Wild Mage is one of these ones that I would want. And uh, maybe the Beholder. Um, but the art style is amazing. Ray of Frost and Temple of the Dragon Queen. And Zalto, Fire Giant Duke. I haven't run into this guy very much. 
He ventures into the dungeon for five, which is kind of a lot, I think, for that deck <coughs> to be trying to achieve. <clears throat> Devour into like moon blessed cleric, tri tiger tribe hunter, dungeon crawler, cool zombie, true polymorph. And target artifact or creature becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature permanently. That's pretty solid. In a swamp. Okay. Minimus. Shesra. Rally Maneuver. Got a uh, <coughs> showcase loathsome troll. And the deck of many things. Very cool card. Uh, another one that's pretty hard to pull off to get a 20. Uh, when I've tried it, I actually, the first time I tried it, I missed the fact that you subtract the number of cards in your hand. So you're never going to get a 20 if that happens. But um, pretty reliable little way to get to draw two cards. Or, well, <laughs> about 50 50 or less. But uh, excellent, excellent card uh, nonetheless. More skellies, need those. Some mines. Shambling Gas, definitely a very usable card from this set. There's a Knoll Hunter. Divine Smite, Battlecry Goblin is uh, seeing some play in the, the Goblin decks. Eccentric Apprentice and the Blackstaff of Waterdeep. Um, yep, there it is. It's not a big one, I don't think. Purple Worm, that's fun. <clears throat> Stygia. Brunor. Cool. Love the old line art. Dryder. Fly. Nadar. Selfless Paladin. There you go. It's a dungeon crawler. Dragon Knight. Um, Earth Cult Elemental. Bloom Stalker. You find a cursed idol. Put it back. Critical Hit, Ingenious Smith, Dungeon Map, and Fighter Class. So the classes are actually really solid. Um, I haven't used this one, but uh, the other ones are pretty um, pretty handy to have um, constant effects just hanging out there on the battleground. Um, and a Fairy Dragon. Oops. Dog's about to go nuts, apparently. <laughs> All right, well, let's quickly get through there. Cool, Baleful Beholder. Iron Golem, Skullport Merchant. Ooh, that's uh, extend no border. What do they even call these anymore? Red Dragon and a Treasure Vault. Very cool. All right, let me see what my dog's up to, and then I'll come back with some pricing. All right, my dog just wants to bark outside at stuff, so... All right, here we go. Let's scan up these rares, see if we did any good. Um, I don't anticipate anything really big. We got a treasure vault, which is seven bucks, actually more than I expected. So there we go. That's good. Uh, fighter class is three dollars, so stand corrected. You're okay. Nadar is a buck. The black staff. 40 cents. The deck of many things. I'm not sure how much that would go for right now. $3. True Polymorph. 40 cents. Zalto. Not a big one. Eye of Vecna. 99 cents. Imrith. 884. So pretty solid for a Mythic Dragon and Instrument of the Bards. 50 cents. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these others are really that big of a deal. I don't think so. So that's pretty much what we're at there. 25 bucks. Um, just want to say, like, I've, I've heard the criticism about this set, and I don't buy it at all. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a great replacement for the core set for this year. I think it's a great tie-in. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. So if anyone's listening, if I even matter, I say do this stuff again. Don't uh, don't not do this because of some naysayers. I also forgot that I got this foil treasure vault. Let's see if I can add that in. 
treasure vault and foil is eight bucks. So add another seven bucks there to my total. So just over 30 bucks, not too shabby. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, I do have more random buys coming up uh, in the next few weeks here. So hang tight and uh, catch you later.